darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Sofa over at Royal Appleberry, and today I am coming with more squirt bottles. <laughs> As of late, I've been enjoying using my squirt bottles, and this time I did run out to Target, and I know people probably thought, oh, she has a baby, how cute, <laughs> because I did buy the disposable liners for bottles, and someone has suggested it, uh, one of my subscribers, which I already knew about it, but let me explain something to you guys, I'm extremely cheap. <laughs> So, I'll use plastic Ziploc bags before I go buy these, but I'm just like, you know what, these actually fit better, so that's why I went and got them. Of course, they don't hold as much. They do expand their 10 ounces, so I'll just work with it, whatever. It'll save me a headache in the end. And I also went and got one of these little, I used to call them boogie snot suckers. Um, I got this, so when I do mica lines, I can just squeeze it and it actually blows the mica around. Uh -huh, see? So, um, and what else did I have? Oh, I had a dry erase board, and it probably would look like that I was keeping the times that I fed my baby. But yeah, no, no babies here. So, anywho, um, the, I'm going to do a dancing funnel, but I'm doing it in a tall skinny. I did it before, and I really like the look. It's not going to look anything like the dancing funnel normally looks, but it's a really cool layer. Look, so this green here actually has a bit of a gold shimmer to it. And this is Bejeweled Mica by Rustic Essential. So I think I'm going to like these two colors together. In here I have some um, Sunshine. I forget the name of it. It's by Rustic Essentials as well. And um, a liquid colorant as well. Because it's actually a lake. And I'm not sure if it's going to morph or fade. So I just gave myself an extra backup. The fragrance I'm using is tea and cucumber and it smells amaze balls, okay? So yeah, um, I'm not using a stick blender. I'm not putting any additives in it at all. Um, I need to think about how I plan to do this because it's going to be kind of a, well my plan is, it's going to be kind of an ombre as I go up. So we'll see how that works. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use like a white soap batter or I'm going to use just TD to lighten it. So all that's to come. Let me think about this stuff. And um, I'm going to go ahead and not use this. But this. Alright. So what I decided to do. Well what I decided I'm going to do. Is save this little bit here. And I'm going to use that and make it white. And then I'll just add it to my batter to lighten it as I go. Hopefully I have enough. But I set this, I poured this off. It's unfragranced. I was going to use it for another project. But if I have to use it, I'll use it. So I'm not loving this yellow. It's kind of like a, I don't know. It's not a good yellow. And yeah, of course, it's not all the way mixed. I still see mica on the bottom. But, um... I need to uh, lighten that. I'm just not in love with that yellow. It needs to be a wee bit lighter. Now, um, I'm going to get a little bit of TD. So I can lighten my... Lighten? <laughs> yeah, so I can whiten, should I say. So, I get... I think that'll work. Um, I'm not going to use all of it, of course. But, um, I just need to have it super white because I need for this to lighten this, you know, as I go. Anywho, so <laughs> I'm going to continue to stir. I just want to bring you guys back and show you I'm still stirring. And I'm going to scrape these sides because I still see a mixed mica on the bottom. Yeah, that yellow is quite gross. Uh, <laughs> and then I'll bring you back when I'm about to, um, start filling my mold. Now I have everything mixed in, and this is, all, like I said, I don't like about um, the baby bottle liners because they are quite small, but it keeps me from cleaning up a big old mess, so that'll work. No complaints here. Um, so, of course, I'm not going to talk through this whole thing because, as you guys know, this, uh, this type of pattern in soap takes a very long time. So, enjoy the music, and I'll talk to you in a minute. It 
it's at a point where um, it is time to well okay so this makes it easy these 10 ounce bags kind of weigh out exactly how much I'm gonna have and as you can see um, this is no longer a dancing funnel this is just something new but so far I am not displeased with it so I think I am going to make this next layer uh, thicker just because I do want to have a little bit of definition I just kind of feel like um, it'll get too muddy because I've had that happen before where um, my batter was too fluid and I was pouring from a high distance and it just muddied it so uh, give me a second to go ahead and lighten these two then I'll be back I'm nearing the end and honestly I don't know what this is gonna look like because it is so fluid as you can see it's still very very fluid and I got a few little air bubbles and on top but you see how it's shaking so um yeah I don't even know if it made any sense for me to do like lighten the colors as I went but I'm still gonna continue on with it just because why not it might be something really amazing cooking on the inside but my biggest fear is that it gets muddy from the sides it looks kind of interesting I'm not gonna say cool but interesting <laughs> I won't know until I cut it I just really really hope that they're not muddy because I would be so very very disappointed if this is just one big old block of muddy colors but um yeah I figured since I'm down to the last bits I bring you guys back and uh this white is doing its own thing over here setting up nicely <laughs> but um yeah, everything else is still very loose so I'm just gonna still go with what I was doing stick to the plan and then this is the last pass I kind of have an idea of what it's gonna look like but I can't be sure I'm just hoping it's like a drop swirl that they were pushed down and now because I'm closer to the top of the mold, I can actually control what I pour. It's still very, very runny as you guys can see. Because like when I stop squeezing, it still just leaks out of the bottle. So, um, and I can't stick blend this because it's just not enough to stick blend. So I'm just going to mix it by hand. And actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to pour it in a bottle and shake it up. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Just to see what's new. So I'm going to pour these in a bottle and I'll come back. Okie dokie. So now I have it all mixed up. I'm just going to continue on making my uh, variation of my uh, dancing funnel. Just because I can now. It has thickened up just enough where I can make it sit on top. As you can see it's still crazy runny. But um, I can have a little bit of control and I don't know if you guys noticed like I was kind of using the walls as like a wall pour as I was going I figured out how to make it kind of stay on top instead of sinking down to the bottom so it works and that's all I have in the yellow these liners are magnificent I wish I would have saved your name thank you honey bunnies thank you thank you because uh a struggle oh yeah, speaking of struggles, I keep missing the mold. But whatever. So I'm not going to leave the top like this. I'm just hoping that it'll make a 
nice pattern but um yeah I don't know how I end up with more green than anything and I'm like squirting the same I don't know who knows who knows so I got not quite a bit but I got more green than yellow for sure so what are we going to do with it hmm hmm I don't know I think I have a clue I think I think I do I can probably stop doing that <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and um yeah do that until I know you're probably like why on earth would I do that but need to use it and I do have enough white left to do something with that yeah a little bit of yellow So of course, I'm pretty sure you guys have figured out I'm going to take a chopstick to this. And if you are just joining my channel, hello, I am so fucking happy you found me. Thank you for sticking around and watching me discover what this is going to be. We're going to discover it together. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nothing wrong with being adventurous and trying new things, you know? That's how you learn and create. So I'm very hopeful that this comes out nice. I'm praying that it does. And it's not just one big old muddy green and yellow blob on the inside. Like I said, the sides are extremely interesting. Um, I cannot show you unless I take the camera off the uh, tripod. But normally you just kind of get my reflection. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting indeed. So, I was going to make two soaps tonight. But I don't think so. Because <laughs> now I'm pooped and Gabriel will be home soon and he's cooking steak. Yay! I will leave the steak to him because, honey, he likes his a little too raw for my liking, and I like mine a little too tough for his liking, so he kind of knows how to do it in between. But, um, yeah. So, that's what we're having, and my leg is starting to hurt. Um, I think I told you guys, I'm not sure, but I was on crutches for like a month. <laughs> uh, just because my meniscus has worn down to my knee, but they gave me medication to try to build it back up I've been doing just great you know um but um uh yeah every now and then if I sit up too long it starts to hurt so this is one of those times so I love 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 I love anything that has tea fragrance I just love tea the way tea smells whether it's real or synthetic <laughs> I'm a big tea fan um, and I am doing polls now on each of my videos um, because YouTube has put it there for us to use I don't know why I've never used them before but so um, the question that I'm gonna ask for this video is um, do you like green tea or tea fragrance <gasps> No! Oh, jeez. No! No, no! <laughs> I just spilled that batter I had sitting off to the side. Jeez Louise. Anyway, I'll get to that in a second. But, um, yeah, it's still quite running. Oh, yeah, so the question is, do you like green tea fragrance? Um, go click that poll. You'll see the pop-up in the corner somewhere along the lines. It'll be at the end of the video. So be sure to take the poll. You can click yes or no, or not sure. <laughs> I really do like green tea. Um, as I stated. Okay, I'm trying to get a little bit out of here. I have green tea perfume. It was Elizabeth Arden. She had a green tea perfume, and I just got it, and I love, love, love it. Oh, it smells so refreshing. It just brings my mind to spring and summer. That's why I like it so much. So, and it just smells so refreshing. And I've been working my butt off, like working out, like literally working out. <laughs> I have this new app. Um, I do not have a chopstick. I do, but I, that one's too thick. But yeah, so I've been working my butt off, um, working out with this app. This app is um, it's six minutes long. It's one for your butt, your thighs, and your hips. And the other one is six minutes long, and it's for your abs. So, um, 
yeah although six minutes sound like a whole lot of nothing let me tell you guys it kicks your butt and my butt hates it <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna try to stick with it but um it is very very tough and i just downloaded it um from the app store nothing special they have many different versions i just went with the one that i had so now i'm just gonna kind of play with this since it's so fluid oh that's so pretty i've not done anything like this in so long and that is all i'm gonna do to it you guys like it so <laughs> um oh i hope this soap is gorgeous on the inside i really do but uh we will all see together don't forget to take that poll do you like green tea fragrance you know guys sometime in life you just like <sighs> i'm over it and this is one of those times this soap is doing the absolute most it has been doing the absolute most since i made it so <laughs> um i will start off by saying it smells amazing balls oh it smells so good but as you can see um it's been an absolute turd um it's been sitting for three days and the whole bottom over here just broke off i don't even care anymore so i'm gonna take this puppy and sit it up it was feeling very very tacky too that's why i just kind of let it sit for a couple of days i don't know what's happening on the inside of this soap and i'm at the point where i'm starting not to care <laughs> but uh hopefully Cause this, yeah, it's crazy hard on the inside, and wow, that's world though. But it's just breaking apart like crazy. I mean, it is so smooth. I don't even know what's going on with the soap. I couldn't even tell you. Um, it's making me mad because that cut is terrible. But this is a gorgeous. I didn't. I really didn't even expect this soap to have a swirl like that. So it better redeem itself. So I'm gonna stop fussing and see what else is going on on the inside of itself but right now that first world was pretty awesome and I don't think the rest is going to be the same I do like it but there are some things I don't like see those little speckles I don't like those so you got some parts that are like rock like here rock hard seriously rock hard here still kind of soft so I think what needs I'm almost afraid to not like to let it cut sit for a couple more days I feel like if I let it sit for a couple more days it's gonna be too hard to cut because this is like super duper hard and that came from my water discount I'm not so concerned about the bottom and sides because that can be uh, cleaned up very easily but uh, yeah such a pretty soap and wants to give me such a difficult time that's really annoying yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up today and deal with what may come and it's like doing some seriously funky cuts but it is a pretty swirl and who would have ever thought that would have generated this swirl not me that's for sure i actually do love this swirl but i'm not gonna fret because once i clean it up i think it's gonna be darling i really do so but just all this crumbling is not my bag i ain't really loving that hope you guys are doing fantastic i am um this is my second soap that i got oh and another thing this puppy heated up as you see got a little crack down the front but it ain't much so no big but yeah i'm having a good day this is my second soap uh, that i cut on this same video but of course different days for you all um this one was actually made first but i cut my other one first just because this one like i said was doing the most i'm just trying to figure out my humidity issues going on down here would i make this again definitely um would i make it as fluid as i did last time don't think so but these swirls are gorgeous i really do like them i just don't like the speckling at the bottom now see this is like this texture though is the bomb <laughs> it is so hard i love that it's like really hard and super smooth so i don't know okay clean some of that out it's just unsightly so yeah i know i'm gonna lose about two two bars possibly three but that's okay because gabe will love that because <laughs> he doesn't feel like we get enough pretty soaps we get all the scraps <laughs> but yeah that's that's pretty awesome of a swirl i think 
And I do like this water discounting business. Um, you just have to get a, a feel for it. That's all. So, I guess baby steps. Instead of doing like 45%, I think I'm going to go back to doing maybe a 25% water discount. And see how that works. And then once I get a handle on how things are supposed to work. Um, and when I say that, I mean, of course, my soaps are not lie heavy. Not even a little bit. Because I do my pH strips, which they're around this table somewhere. And um, they're testing out right where they're supposed to be. Uh, maybe just a percent higher. And then when they cure out, they're exactly where they're supposed to be. But I guess what I mean is when I do water discounts, how soon should I cut them? How soon should I unmold them? They're just a lot different from when I use full water. Full water to me seems to behave a lot better. Um, these do um, get hard quicker. Not immediately, but when they harden up, I mean, they're rock hard, and I do love that. So, I want to continue doing it. I just need to get a handle on it. And, like, see, the edges is crumbling, and if I would have left this in the mold any longer, it would have just been a disaster. So, that's why I'm glad I decided to go ahead and cut instead of write it off. But those squirrels are just amazeballs, seriously. I am in love with these squirrels. Whoa, I don't know. What the hell? Did, oh, I'm like, what's wrong with the bottom itself? <laughs> that's, oh, that's so beautiful. That's so unfortunate that um, the bottom got messed up. So, two, four, six. I got seven good bars. But isn't that pretty, though? That is, like, seriously gorgeous. Isn't that ugly, though? That is, like, seriously ugly. <laughs> so, oh, well, you win some, you lose some. But I will tell you this it does smell amazing. Absolutely. So, what am I going to do? I think, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll put this in my oopsie section. I think I will. So, sorry, Gabriel. Um, what I'm going to do is cut that off. So pretty. And then I'm going to cut this off. And these little little ones will be discounted in price but you still get it's kind of like a bigger sample yeah so we get to have these parts <laughs> see Gabe I was thinking of us all right and now this is a mess <laughs> seriously this is an absolute mess Ugh. but that's okay that's all right. Okay, yeah, so these be cute little minis. So I'm going to have to work on that, just clean it up a little bit better. That's actually really cute. So, yeah, all is not lost. I think I'll get one more. And what is, sorry if you guys can see the top of my scalp. <laughs> okay, let's see what's like holding things the way it's not supposed to be okay there we go so I got two and this one will keep as well but those worlds are pretty darn fantastic I do like them a lot I didn't think yeah that's gonna need a lot of beveling <laughs> I didn't think they're gonna turn out like this but I'm happy with the outcome I am besides the crumpling and all that fun stuff all right guys so if you did like this so be sure to give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated thank you so much for sticking around and watch me make a mess because that's exactly what this is a mess i am so freaking happy you are here and if you're new to my channel i am so freaking happy you found me thank you thank you thank you for watching this far and if you like what you're seeing although you know mine is a mess <laughs> be sure to give us a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated and let us know that you like what we are doing you know, one thing about me, I'm going to always find the silver lining in my disasters. <laughs> and I hope everyone else who has semi-fails or full fails can do the same, you know. So, love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing in everything you do. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you can get notifications of when I post new videos. And I promise they won't all be crumbly like this. At least I hope not. <laughs> Alright, until the next making video, I'll see you over there. Bye!